Welcome fellow viewers. My name is Antoine Mendiola and I am a senior at Dr. Rita Hokok Enos Junior Senior High School, Rhoda. I'll be explaining to you on how to do a rhetorical analysis essay. Overview. A rhetorical analysis essay uses a form of writing for authors to utilize powerful and persuasive techniques. It is an argument that splits through sections and describes how they come together to form an effect either for persuasion, content, or information. The main point is to identify different strategies that the author uses to compel and persuade their audience. The different strategies are then analyzed, which the author uses to achieve their purpose of writing their piece. It is also used to identify an author's thesis as well as their main idea or argument. The key point is to create the concise text by extracting the words or phrases that are being used by the author to show the persuasion methods used to receive feedback from the audience. Analyzing the prompt. You must read Trump's speech in Hershey's, Pennsylvania to analyze the rhetorical devices being used and create a rhetorical analysis essay. Writing the introduction. The introduction paragraph should be short with a strong hook that will attract the audience. So a rhetorical analysis essay will begin with an introduction paragraph and then composed of three to four sentences. It must begin with a phrase that picks up your reader's interest. Do not forget to mention who the speaker is and a description of them. You must give a brief discussion that talks about what their purpose is and the subject of the speech. Find the key message of your subject in the rhetorical analysis essay. It is also advised to illustrate the sound used by the writer or speaker to impact the readers in order to make the introduction catchier. Always end the introductory paragraph with a strong thesis because it is important and plays a vital part of your essay. So B will be talking about evidence from my Trump's rhetorical analysis essay that I just pasted onto this. And then I will be explaining each of the sentences in the introduction paragraph, what it is and how I did it. Writing the body paragraph. The body paragraph is an important part of your essay because you need to come up with a clear explanation on each of the rhetorical devices that are being used. It will be best if each paragraphs are in chronological order with the strategies discussed in each of it. A prominent way to entice your readers is to always begin with a firm paragraph to explain a different strategy or device. There should be three body paragraphs consisting of three to six sentences at the most. Analyze and talk about the different devices when writing your judgments. Explain to your audience about the specific details the author applies. You can also use quotes and examples to help support your findings to create a strong judgment. Writing the conclusion. The last paragraph of a rhetorical analysis essay would be the conclusion, which basically summarizes what you've stated throughout your passage. In your thesis statement, your topic sentence should summarize what you stated in your introduction paragraph. But be sure to include deeper understanding when rephrasing your thesis. You shouldn't integrate new ideas into your conclusion, but instead summarize what you said in your body paragraph. Make the ending of your rhetorical analysis essay strong to cause an impact to your audience. Analyze the key points and restate your thesis statement. For your closing sentence, make it feel exciting and compelling to your readers about what made it interesting for them to read your essay. List the important details and leave a positive feedback behind. Thank you.